beautiful air sign beings, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. How y'all doing? Um, we're gonna talk about your money for the next uh 48 hours. I heard AirPods Pro. Y'all want some AirPods Pro? Somebody out there wants to bless me. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ooh. Oh, I'm so glad this came out. I really am. Um if it ain't for somebody out there, it's for me. I have someone here. Your create your natural creativity is going to get you far. And I um oh oh air. Yeah, oh, let's just work with this spread. We may not even need to like do anything else. Cause this is already this is some meat and potatoes. <laughs> so I feel like somebody here, your creativity is setting you up, okay, for lifelong influence. I feel like someone here may be working with the frequency of influence or stardom because I don't really feel like it's how other people are viewing you. I feel like it's how you're viewing yourself. And I I love to talk when the reading kind of starts out in air about, you know, self-concept, like mindfulness i like mindfulness more than mindset y'all like mindset seems very like spiritual like new age like washed down and and, and you know i'm probably gonna piss some people off but in the times where i feel like i'm the loudest in my readings is when i'm most stressed or when there's something that i really need to transmute and i feel like somebody here in terms of your money the next 48 hours i feel like you are learning or understanding that people vocalize things or 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 their intrusive intrusive thoughts can ugh, intrusive thoughts can grab anybody by the balls okay it does not matter if you got 200 million sitting in, in accounts and assets or you got two dollars every phase of life is going to throw us a beat or a curveball that either we've seen before or maybe it's a new one and i feel like what's been happening with you guys here especially looking at this spread there's been a lot of spiritual curveballs in terms of how do i really hear myself how do i really understand myself how do i really view and see myself view and see my creativity um I feel like a lot of what you guys have been going through in terms of your money, your um, business career is more so just listening more so to your intuition, um, but then checking that, then test, you know, because sometimes I hear stuff and I'm like, okay, is that really for me? Or like, is somebody watching me? Is somebody talking about me? Is somebody remembering me? Is somebody, you know, trying to shoot off pow, 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 the spiritual realm? Like, because there's a lot of spiritual activity here. So a lot of you, um, your answers are in your dreams your answers are in your quiet time a meditative state sometimes a meditative state um sometimes a meditative state is consuming food nourishing your body sometimes a meditative state is listening to music or writing something down or walking but i feel like this next 48 hours like you are deepening your connection your spiritual connection to the emotions that more money will give you. Well, so for someone here, it is, baby, it is free creative control. Um, may I, wow. So maybe some of you guys are in contracts or something you need to get, something, somebody is in something that's not giving you creative control. Or I feel like someone is restricting their creativity or restricting some aspect of, of something by trying to appease the masses. When I, some of you guys, who is this? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys may have um, these signs or these houses sitting retrograde in your chart. Because when I feel a lot of retrograde energy, it's like, boo, this, this world, this this chaos, this capitalism playground, okay? This matrix, however you're looking at it, it's like you rise above it. It's it's truly your playground if you have retrograde planets in your chart because I feel like the the biggest lessons that you're always learning is like okay, it's been about me this whole time. And it yeah, it's about everybody in their own little world. But retrograde planets I feel like could form their own little world. So not like the cult line, but I think of retrograde planet holders as a gated community. Like you guys want to protect and keep 
all of your wealth, all of your resources, your tools, your knowledge, your understanding. So for some of you guys, it, it may not be that you're looking for like just a soul family, soul community, soul base clients and customers or money or desired offers. It's like, I feel like you're looking for a gate. You're looking for some type of spiritual protection in terms of whatever industry or avenue or thing that you're trying to pop off into, because it's like, you want to protect the things that you feel like people should just know, but they don't know. <laughs> that's also not retrograde planets. That, that I just think that's just air. Um, and I love the queen and the king of diamonds is here because it lets me know that those of you guys that are booed up, okay, or you have a desired person on your heart or in your spirit, they feel the same way you do too. But with the six of diamonds, I, you know, I always want to talk about the jealousy that circulates, right? Sometimes we don't, this is one thing I've learned about jealousy in terms of money. You do not have to have the money. It's the idea. It's the concept, it's the understanding, and I'm gonna be very vulnerable for a second when I share this. Um, I was getting food uh, for myself and my kids and my nephews and niece, and I, I kind of had like this this thought of like, even at this financial low period in my life. Like right now as I'm recording this reading, it's still a low. And and when it's when it's a high, I'll be honest about that. But when it's a low again, it, is it gonna is it gonna affect me as much because of every because of the low period I've been on? Probably not. But in that moment I was like, okay, I only had two hundred dollars to work with, yet I was getting pizza. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted it. I was getting pizza for myself, my kids, nephew and niece, because I was like, okay, we got to eat. We we got to eat in a physical sense. And in that moment, I, I've been getting a lot of downloads about corporations and businesses, you guys, and CEOs and TFOs, and just some, some of the stuff scares me. I'm not going to lie. Because in that moment, I went through the mental process and deconstruction, deconstruction of like, why millionaires and billionaires are always, you hear these, these chatters about bunkers in underground cities. And in that moment, I was scared that I understood why, <laughs> why they would even want a bunker. You know, some people say like, blast them off the planet because they're not housing everybody in their bunker. But I feel like bunker is not just a physical location. I feel like it is in a spiritual sense that what you've been fighting for, or what you want or what you see for yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is not just a matter of like cutting yourself off from the world. You just need a, you just need a fortress. You just need to be in, in a space where you feel protected so your mind can like flee. So this could, I could be talking to those of you guys, you've been in careers, you've been in, not careers, we're going to take the back. You've been in jobs or you've been in spaces or you've been around people where it's like, you just, you say one thing and it's just like, I feel like people run with it. And sometimes you just be talking, like sometimes you just like let stuff off your dome. But I feel like with this five of clubs, there's been a lot of strife in terms of what you can make happen for you. And I feel like it's just because you're just so free flowing sometimes with the things that you think. And maybe you've been around people where you felt like, oh, I'm comfortable to say this or I can say this. Or there's people that are just so on the opposite spectrum of what it is that you think in terms of your money your career, your business, you just like, they, they tear down anything that you come up with. Um, I, wow. I, when I, when I, um, channel like this, I see people that are in, um, like meeting rooms. I, Oh, uh, I have a story and I have to say this here. If any of you guys are watching, hi. Um, I used to hate like team meetings at my last job because I just knew everybody was like, wanted to know what I thought about something. And then it just kind of got to the point where I think like the teams that I were on, we all just kind of like, well, we thought we knew each other. We all just kind of like knew each other to the point where it's like, okay, we know that she's not, she's holding back for a reason. And 
I feel like this, I don't know. I feel like this reading is some, some form of justice that's being invoked for you air the next 48 hours, because I feel like there's been so many times that you, like I said a minute ago, just been loosely saying things that you didn't think people were listening to, but maybe even going behind your back sometimes in feeding off your ideas to other people. So I, I know I've talked about it in my money readings before. Those of you guys that are powerful enough to elevate towns, counties, cities, some of y'all are countries, you get on, <laughs> you get, you get to access your zenith in astral cartography. Some of you guys, you travel to a zenith point in your chart. Don't worry about remembering because you're just going to be there. And I feel like for somebody here, it's not a matter of you knowing that you're there. It's just, no. Wow. Okay. It's not a matter of you knowing that you're there. It's just the access point. So anybody that's watched Ghostbusters, I'm sure you guys remember ley lines. So I feel like somebody here, you you are moving or you're being your money. Uh, money is pulling you to it. So this could be for somebody who you've recently got a job interview in a certain city um, or you've recently... Um, Kind of has some kind of like maybe there was an appointment or somewhere somebody was supposed to go, but you canceled it, you couldn't get there. Um, but also I feel like someone is taking a virtual tour or you've been looking at virtual tours and kind of like mapping out like rooms and spaces and things like that. I feel like my cause that's what we want here, right? Money. I feel like in the diamonds is money. <laughs> um, but it's also a lot of spiritual energy. It's it's a lot of like coincidences. There we go. It's a lot of coincidences. You're just kind of like, oh, <laughs> and I feel like someone here, you've been wanting to live here or work here or do here. And then it's just like, I feel like there was a just recent events. Everything happened within hours. So if any of you guys are really want to know how fast you can um, shift your life or change things in your life, um, diamonds is ours. So I feel like if within a span of like maybe three to four hours, like you went from like question, inquiry, application, drop the honest blurb about, you know, either how you wanted the job or something, something about it. And then like, boom, you're an interview. And then I feel like you apply somewhere else and that didn't happen. But then you apply somewhere else and that didn't. So I feel like you go through these events, excuse me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where it's like money is, money is pulling you. Like you are trying, someone here, you're trying to pull money to you, but money is pulling you. <laughs> you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening. And I feel like you're not listening because, I mean, maybe there's problems that's happening in your relationship right now. And maybe you feel like if you, if you make, the decision, I feel like someone here, if you feel like if you make the decision that you don't really want to make, like that'll alleviate the problems within your relationship or your marriage. But again, like I said, it's, it really feels very strongly that money is pulling you to it. And when I say it, it is a it. Because y'all know where they get the money from. They get the money from the trees and tree spirits. They're very cult e, <laughs> very culty. So I feel like there's been trees like on earth, like battling for your energy or like battling for your, your devotion, for your knowledge, your understanding. Just look at like these towns, these jobs, these careers, these schools, um, these streams of income, these avenues. It's just like little cults. That's like battling for your, for your energy, battling for your concepts, battling for your ideas, battling for what you know. And I feel like the next 48 hours, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's like, you're choosing the 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 culties, I guess you could say, that is really helped. For some of you guys, this is bringing you new friends, more success in your relationship, your marriage, um, people that actually want to, I'm hearing spend a bag on you. Okay, it's interesting. Maybe like buy all of your products or book your thing, book your certain things, book your services, or this could be someone like, you know, promoting your stuff or just like really, really speaking. I'm not speaking really. Um, What is the word? Harnessing life into what you're doing. Some of you guys, um, 
and I'm going to say this for those of you guys who do, um, who you on your own path, you on your own beat, small business, freelance, kind of just something in your heart told you, I have to do something different or life. Life was telling you, you had to do something different. You had to quit your job. I remember I came across a TikTok where this woman said she had to become a business owner when her child was a baby because she couldn't leave her daughter with nobody, like just screaming. Like, hey, so some of you guys, my heart goes out to those of you guys here. This could be like your neurodivergent parents, whatever. I could go on and on, but it's like life told you you had to do something differently. And I feel like lately there's been like some type of quantum shift because I feel like you have more people that are spiritually backing you than you may have in this 3D environment. So I feel like someone has been, or this could be, you know, it's no different than like, you know, um, higher ups or senior management or, you know, people that see your potential, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're like praying or wishing or hoping or farming. Like, I hope Gemini, Libra, Aquarius starts listening to themselves <laughs> so they can get to where I know they're capable of being. Or I hope maybe they protect some of those ideas. Or I hope maybe they, you know, maybe they take different approaches. Somebody has been 16, 16. Somebody's been praying for you, Aaron. Somebody's been praying for you hard, but I don't feel like it's just you. I also feel like, um, those of you guys that are booed up, I feel like your boo has been praying for you. Cause I, I don't feel like they don't think that they don't have the answers. I don't know how many words I said wrong in that sentence, y'all, but hope y'all follow. I feel like it's like they see that you have more answers <laughs> or they see that there's things that you see that they don't. And they're like, OK, I, I really want them to to get this. It's under this. There's some aspect of like, I don't even want to say a lesson. This doesn't even feel like a lesson here. This just feels like a requirement, um, maybe even an initiation. Maybe some of you guys are being initiated because the way. Listen. Uh, or you're coming out of initiation because I know the internet will sometimes like to make people think that um, you got to go to somebody else to be initiated, but that's somebody else that maybe you need to go to or can't get to is watching you or watching over you spiritually. And I, I do firmly believe in my heart of heart that people, depending on the trajectory of your life, honey, you could be going through an initiation in terms of your finances and no one has necessarily been in front of you or spoke or said um, that this is supposed to happen for you. It could just be that your future self is like, all right, they <laughs> fucking up again we got to get him back on the got to get him back on course and i feel like air um especially with the king and the queen of diamonds um i'm gonna say maybe last 17 to 20 years for someone here it even feels like you've just been like ping and then your um future self your ancestors are like bro and you like ping and they like bro and you like ping <laughs> and they like bro and you like yeah. pain you know it's it, it's <laughs> it's just kind of like this feeling of like you're you get close and then it's like you do something and then it's like I feel like then things just don't start working in harmony or there's some type of competition petty arguments fights that's amplifying over you or you know this is like you feel like you end one emotional cycle and then you step right back into another one. So really just um, a lot of craftsmanship. I definitely see you achieving through hard work. You're going to enjoy luxury and the fruit, yeah, fruits <laughs> of your labor. But I also feel like you're building a nest air and like really um, receiving help and support financially through your accolades to do so. So let me just get a couple of these. This has been a very rich reading. Very rich. I'm excited to do fire when my stomach is growling. So I got to listen to 1919. Okay. First generation college student, whether you are on the way or you've completed it, congratulations because it is not easy. Or maybe some of you guys are due justice from that. Maybe you were the first in your family to go to college, make a business plan. Um, maybe you were the first thing your family to go to college and 
and and it didn't pan out the way you wanted to. So then so then you got people in your ear like, well, you shouldn't even did that or should have did this. So just you know, just trust yourself, masters. I mean, it's clear you're supposed to be in school. <laughs> Somebody here uncrossing money and or business troubles or maybe you're putting this on hold to um transition in your career change careers somebody pocket watching you and then you're gonna um because i feel like someone here you've already either completed graduate courses or you're in grad school and you want to change careers and you're hesitant on it because you feel like you're starting over but you're not starting over you're starting something new and i feel like that's something you're starting new is accelerating you faster to where you've just been kind of like slowly or tirelessly working towards um recently you have limitless unex limitless fortune unexpected money five hundred dollar payouts okay i was hoping to see luxurious lifestyle here it is i was hoping to see another um dollar amount but i'm working on that y'all block out the negative voices for that luxurious lifestyle we are in the um hour planetary hour of the sun okay so that wealth prosperity is touching on your stuff okay learn a skill or a trade power couple manifesting money for love divine union i heard 111 thousand. split the bill some of you guys here are getting money back for money that you've put out um in error okay so all right this is beautiful air i do so so myself Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last